As vehicle technology has evolved, so has the ability for cars to actively assist you in stressful driving situations, such as long road trips or crowded highways. You've probably heard the terms self-driving, semi-autonomous, and hands-free thrown around when automakers describe the features that enable such relief. What does it all really mean, and does your vehicle have more assistance capabilities than you might have previously thought? Let's dive in. When classifying the scope of a vehicle's active safety abilities, there is a standard scale from 0 to 5. The scale was developed by the SAE to make it clear just how autonomous a vehicle legally classifies as. At level 0, you're looking at vehicles with or without basic cruise control, and that's about it. You the driver are required to have your hands on the wheel at all times, with the car only maintaining the speed you set in the cruise control system if it has that function. It will not steer or brake for you. You are also required to have eyes on the road and complete control of the vehicle at all times. The next level covers most vehicles sold today. Though your hands are still required on the wheel and your eyes on the road, these vehicles will be able to actively adjust your cruise control speed to maintain gaps between you and other vehicles, while also at the very least alerting you or nudging you if you start to drift out of your current lane when no turn signal has been activated. Level 1 vehicles can also utilize features like autonomous emergency braking and rear cross-traffic braking to bring your vehicle to a complete stop to avoid collisions. You'll find features like this standard on vehicles even at the very low end of the price spectrum, but note that not all features that qualify for Level 1 assistance are standard on every vehicle. You may have to pay a little extra to get some of them. Like at Level 0, you are still responsible for having full control of the vehicle at all times. Level 2 is where things get interesting. Only a handful of manufacturers even offer level 2 driving assistance in 2023, but more and more are on the way. At this level, you do still have to keep your eyes on the road, but in limited driving situations on highways only, the vehicle can handle hands-free steering and speed adjustments, on top of the autonomous braking found on level 1. Most of these systems utilize eye tracking monitors to make sure you are looking at the road ahead, because if you are not, the systems will not work. You are still liable for anything that goes wrong because you still must have control over your vehicle when things out of your control on the road come into play. At level 3, the requirements for attention to the road ahead loosen just a little bit. Level 3 systems are still in their infancy, so you won't find any in North America just yet. Like level 2, these systems allow for hands-free driving in limited situations, but here the vehicle itself is monitoring all aspects of the environment around you. But that doesn't mean you can take a power nap at the wheel. At level 3, the driver is still expected to be alert and ready to take over if something goes wrong. When level 4 systems arrive, it will mark the first time in automotive history that we have true self-driving cars. No, Tesla Autopilot does not count, that is still a level 2 system. As with level 3 systems, the vehicle will act as your eyes, hands, and right foot with little to no interaction from the driver required. The vehicle will perform all tasks for you, but only under certain circumstances and within geo-fenced locations. You won't be required to look at the road ahead all the time, but you will still need to be awake and in the driver's seat, as this level will not be enabled for every road and situation on the map. Now level 5 is what dreams are made of. This will be the pinnacle of vehicle autonomy as these systems will be able to handle every single aspect of the driving experience with no human interaction required. It's extremely likely that at this level, cars won't even have steering wheels. For the industry as a whole to introduce this kind of autonomy, there will need to be a massive shift in how we think about driving. Cars will need to be able to interact with each other and the infrastructure around them, and passive safety considerations will need to be rethought. Luckily, all of that is being researched and developed right now with the hope that in the not-too-distant future we will finally be able to experience what true stress-free and safe driving looks like. For more information on the safety features you can find today, Kelly Blue Book's your one-stop shop.